In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to morph words into words. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We got a great tutorial today. <laughs> okay, that's all I got. So we already have a background and uh, two uh, text layers in here. Uh, we have the word morph and uh, my branding name Sunduck. So uh, what you need to do is when, before you do this effect, you need to figure out what word is the largest word. So Sunduck is my largest word out of the two words I have in here because we have seven letters and that's what you need to determine. So if you have, if your largest word is eight letters, you need to know that's eight letters. So what we need to do is since Sunduck is our biggest word, we need to duplicate it and so whatever biggest word that you have. So you can go up to uh, edit duplicate and we'll make a new text layer and then we can hide this layer and then we'll go back to the text title tool and what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and just type in seven uh, O's or zeros, it doesn't really matter, but I'll explain why we're doing seven of O's instead of any other character in a second. So we have seven of these, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the layer is selected, we're gonna right click it, and we're going to uh, click on create shapes from text. And here we have a shape layer, and then we're gonna continue this, we'll just hide the shape layer, we'll go ahead and maybe turn on sun duck, we'll right click it, create shapes from text, hide that, Go ahead and maybe turn on the morph and right click the morph uh, and create shapes from text. So you would do that for every text layer that you have. And then let's turn on our O layer here and let's go ahead and open up the uh, contents here on the side. And we're gonna go into each of these O's in here. So the first tab in here, we'll go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, we have two paths for each uh, letter. And that's the reason why we did O's because some letters would only have one path and you need to make sure that you have two paths. So we'll go into each of these uh, you know, O layers in here again. We'll add a keyframe for the path. Go ahead and second O here, and we'll add keyframes for that. And then we can close the, you know, the first letter O here and go into the second letter O, and we'll continue to add keyframes for both of those paths. And we'll go through each of these uh, layers to uh, you know, add a keyframe for the paths. Okay, so I've now added a keyframe for every single uh, path in here. And what we're going to do is make sure the layer is selected and we're going to hit U on our keyboard to bring up all the keyframes. So you got to pay close attention to this, but basically since we have two paths for each letter, that each of these first paths, like these two paths right here, are obviously this letter. The second two paths here are this letter. And the reason why we're doing this is because uh, we're going to be able to morph all these into individual letters. And that's why you know we have seven O's because Sunduck is the biggest word on here. So let's start with the word morph. Let's go ahead and open up the contents and go into the M here. And what we need to do is click on the word path and we need to copy it. And then we go to, to our O's down here and we'll need to maybe move forward in time to like, you know, one second and we'll paste that right in there. So make sure that you select the two paths there. So basically our first letter will morph into M. And then, you know, also since it's starting to overlap with another O in here, since this uh, word only has five characters in it, we'll go ahead and select the next uh, two paths here, which is the second O, and we'll paste the keyframes in there as well. And then we'll go into the word O under morph, and it has two paths here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the first path, and we're going to go to the fifth path here, which is this O. We're going to paste that keyframe in there, and we're going to go ahead and select the second path of the uh, path for O, and paste it into the sixth path. So as you can see, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. That's why we did two O's because some of these letters will have two paths. And you know, we'll just go into R, paste the first path to R in there, and go into the second, copy that one, and we'll paste that R in there. Now we're down to our last letter, and obviously we have two O's left over, and then we'll just go right into the H of our morph, you know, go into the uh, path, copy the path, and there's only one path here, so we can select the last four paths of our of our O's here, and we can just paste that in there. So now, from O's, it all morphs into the word morph. And now, we don't need to see the word, you know, the obviously the O's over here, so what we're going to do is we're just going to move this layer over to where the keyframes are the first frame here. So now we don't see that animation, and we can rename this layer to, uh, you know, text uh, morph. And maybe we can just recolor this to like orange or something or green, just so we know this is our main text layer. So now what we'll do, since we have you know our first word in here, morph, and we have you know all the everything set up correctly, let's go ahead and move forward by like a second, maybe a little bit more, and we'll have this word morph stay on the screen for a, for a little second, and we'll add a keyframe for all the paths here. So now 
boom, we just have this. And then now we can work on the word sunduck. So we want the word morph to morph into the word sunduck or whatever word you're using. So it's basically the same principles. We go into the contents here. We go to the S and we'll copy my first uh, letter, which is S, and we'll paste it to the first two paths here. And I'm not going to skip any of this. I'm going to try to commentate as much over this as possible. So we'll go into the word O for sunduck. We'll copy the first path for O. Go to the third path. Paste that in there. Go to the second uh, path for O, paste it into the fourth path for my text morph. So boom, we're starting to, you know, rock here. So we'll go to the N, copy the path for N, and we'll paste that in there and paste it into the fifth and sixth properties for paths. And if you kind of get this, go ahead and skip through this video a little bit, but I'm just going to continue to talk through this. So we'll go into the D, we'll paste it into the seventh path, go into the second D path, paste it into the eighth path. And go into the U, we'll copy the U path, and we'll put it into, I think, the ninth and 10th path, and go into the C, and we'll copy the C path, and we'll paste it into, I think, the 11th and 12th, and then copy the K path, and boom, there you have it. And I, just, I didn't want to cut this out. I want to actually go through this just in case anyone was going to get confused or whatever. But as you can see, now the word morph morphs into the word sunduck. So ultimately, you want to make sure you have this set up to where you have all the uh, max amount of characters and O's. So if I had a nine letter word, I would make sure I have nine O's on here. And the only reason why we do it that way is because it's a little bit more, you know, more of a headache later to add, you know, we can go in here and we go to add. And of course, we can always add more paths, but, you know, it's still more of a headache to kind of fix that. So we might as well set ourselves up for success anyway. So. Now that we have this, we can maybe take this a little bit further and, you know, maybe add just a little bit of characteristic to this through maybe some color. So what I suggest doing, well, first of all, let's select all these keyframes here and let's hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy as so the animation will kind of curve in and out. So what we'll do is we'll select the text morph layer and we'll just offset it by like one or two frames and we'll change the fill color to, you know, whatever second color you want. Click OK. Make sure it's underneath our white. Uh, you know, text morph. And as you can see here, we kind of get that, you know, secondary color bleeding through here, which is really awesome. And then we can take this a little bit further, duplicate it once more, and we can pick maybe a third color and do, you know, whatever we want. Maybe I'll just select blue and, you know, and make sure the offset to that by like a frame or so. And there you have that. And boom, there you have that. And make sure to select all of your three text layers in here or your shape layers that are morphed. Make sure to enable motion blur, turn it on at the top. And that way we'll have a little bit more motion blur. So, so of course you could just do this, you know, for letters, you can do letter to letter, or you can also morph this into, uh, you know, maybe objects. So you can always add, like, you can always just get the path of your logo or something and then paste the path inside of your text layer. And if you did follow along with this video, you know, it should have got something like this. I didn't render it out, but you know, just very easy to do and just very clean and we didn't have any problems doing this. So I hope you guys found the video intuitive. If you guys did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more After Effects tutorials just like this. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this After Effects tutorial. And I hope you have a good day. Oh, that was a fun one.